Hi guys. This is one of those touch lamps. In other words, you just touch the base or the metal um, post there and it should turn on and off. In fact, it goes through, I think it comes on dim, mid light and full light usually. I don't remember this one. Had it for a long time. Model number TS3625C-RD Bulb rating maximum 370 lumens 28 watt SES halogen round bulb Came from ASDA Anyway, it stopped working I have checked the bulb, the bulb is in good condition I've also tried another bulb just in case it was measuring okay, but um, there was some problem with it. I've checked the fuse and it's not working. So I'll unplug it so we don't have any unfortunate accidents and see if I can peel this cloth base off. I'll put a link in the video description. I have repaired one of these in the past. The repair consists of actually ordering the little circuit module off eBay, just swapping it out. Although, as I found at the time, the wire colors can be a bit confusing. There doesn't seem to be a standard, so you get um, you get to make your own choice to make them work. I did draw a diagram in the previous video. So as I say, I'll link to that video. Right, I've got one screw there. I would assume it'd have one screw on the other side, yeah. Okay, so we've got two screws. And we have a screwdriver. If this is the same as the ones I've looked at before, the circuit module is just a black cube. Yeah, that's the module. Four wires coming out of it. One just goes to the chassis. Power comes in. It's spliced together in here. Yeah, we've got that's a bit of heat shrink they've got over it there. I think I'll put the light back on the camera and come in a bit closer. Right, as I say, you can order these modules. Put that just right. LD8. LD600 touch dimmer here in the UK 220 to 240 volts 25 watt to 150 watt it does actually show you on the bottom of this one which is an improvement on the ones I've bought in the past Black wire goes to T. Well, that's the touch. Blue wire N for neutral. R wire, red, is the lamp. 
and brown wire is live. Right, let's see if we can separate these out so you can see them. Power coming in. Oh, let's get a bit closer still. Power coming in. Is the blue and the brown. All the blues are connected together. So that's the blue going to the module, the blue going up to the light bulb, and the blue power coming in. So that's, as we said on there, blue is the neutral. And the brown coming from the power cable, the incoming power, the brown is going to the brown, going to the module. And the brown from the light bulb, that brown is going to the red of the module. Right, we'll stop there, because I'll see if I can order one of these on eBay. See how long it takes to arrive. I'll just open this up. It's not supposed to open. It's either glued or something like that. I know in the past people commented on my previous video saying it was probably that one that was faulty and you could potentially repair it. It could just as easily be that one that's faulty because that, if I remember rightly, is one that's effectively a fuse. A resettable fuse. But I'm not going to attempt to repair it. I wonder if that is a thermal. Uh, I'll call it a fuse, a thermal fuse, because it's effectively stuck to the top of that fella there. So if that overheats, that might switch it off. Pretty sure Big Clive's done a tear down of one of these and told you how it actually works. But I'm not going to attempt to do that. I'm going to buy a replacement. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.